Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, it's essentially going to be a continuation of what we ended up doing and talking about in last week's video. Last week, we've taken a look at two of these specific motors. This one here has a KV of 1050, and the other one has a KV of 700. That was essentially the only difference between those motors. What we wanted to ultimately do is determine the efficiency of both of those motors and be able to compare them to see which one is going to be the most efficient. One motor was operated at 11.1 volts where the other one was operated at 7.4 volts. And because of the difference in KVs, both of those motors actually had the exact same output RPM. And because of this, we could use the exact same propeller to simulate our load on the motor. This week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at only this motor. However, we're gonna operate it on a 7.4 volts and we're gonna operate it on 11.1 volts. The difference that we're gonna do here is we're gonna change that propeller to simulate the load. We're gonna reduce the load, but increase the amount of RPM that we spin a smaller propeller with. This would essentially bring that load factor right back to where we want it to be in order to have a similar comparison. What we're gonna try and do is experiment with the correct propeller so that we can get the mechanical power output of the motors to be within about 5% or so. Let's go ahead and bolt up this motor to our dyno so that we can figure out which scenario is going to play out to be the most efficient for our case. You've probably noticed that the 3S run-up of that motor happened to be a little bit higher in actual mechanical power output. I tried to get this as close as possible and within that 5% mark and definitely within the 10% mark. Let's go ahead and talk about the results that we ended up achieving through those two dyno runs. So I have everything essentially penned out right here in front of me, the 2S scenario. So the 2S battery pack used an 11 inch propeller on our 1050 kV motor. This worked out to an average of about 73.9% in terms of its efficiency. Now if we take a look at our 3S dyno run, this played out a little bit differently. Our 3S pack used an 8 inch propeller, so a much smaller propeller that does a lot less work at the same RPM. However, we spun it up to a higher amount of voltage so that we can get a similar amount of power output. In this case, our 3S pack ended up running at 72.8 efficiency. So it is a smaller amount of efficiency by just over 1%. Ultimately, when we compare both of the results here that we achieved, our 3S setup was actually a little bit less efficient by about 1.1%. So now let's quickly talk about why or how this could be. So generally speaking, it is a lot easier to get better amounts of efficiency by bumping up the voltage of your battery pack. However, if you want to get the maximum amount of efficiency out of your motor, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. And the reason why is because every single motor has a theoretical maximum efficiency that works out in practice as well. 
So I ended up looking at the maximum efficiency of this specific motor and I wrote that out as well. So the maximum efficiency that we ended up getting is two different values depending on if you run it on a 2S setup or a 3S setup. The way this relationship works is essentially as you go and increase the amount of voltage and steps up to whatever you're going to be running that motor at, that maximum efficiency value also has that current value increasing as well. So essentially if you're running at a higher voltage, you are going to expect that the current has to be higher as well in order to hit that maximum efficiency of the motor. And this is of course from a theoretical point of view, which does play out to work in practice as well. So our 27 amp was the maximum efficiency for our 2S scenario, our 2S setup. And we actually hit somewhere around the 29 amp mark. So we're very close to that theoretical maximum efficiency. And then our 3S scenario this plays out a little bit differently actually quite different we had a calculated 32 amps maximum theoretical efficiency current that we needed to achieve to get a better efficiency however what we ended up doing is we ended up hitting 22 amps you can see that this is quite different than the 32 amps that we've calculated to hit that maximum efficiency if we wanted to hit a better efficiency with this setup we would have had to load up the motor a much more significantly so that we could achieve that better efficiency well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. I'm not gonna go through the calculation of your maximum theoretical efficiency values in this specific video. I'm gonna save that for another video that we do sometime here in the future. So as always, I hope you ended up learning something, taking something from this specific video. And if you like it, smash that like button for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next Monday.